It's Sunday morning. I'm about to make some breakfast. We got this new like griddle from um, Home Goods yesterday. So we're gonna try this out with bacon because our bacon always kind of goes over the top. So we're gonna try this out for bacon and see how it goes. So it says, it's like the opposite of pasta. It says you're supposed to put um, the bacon on a cold surface before you start turning on the heat, which I kind of guess always did. Lately I've been putting it on when it's a little warm, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. We're gonna put this bacon on the skillet. And you're not seeing much, so sorry. <laughs> You can put a lot more pieces on the skillet. We have one, we usually can put four in a pan. Sometimes five if I'm like stuffing it. So this looks like you might be able to make six pieces. We'll see. Last time I only cooked four at a time, which maybe was the key because it was really good bacon. I didn't film it, but it was really, really tasty. Yeah. These are more thinly sliced too. I can see how people would be so grossed out by raw meat. I totally get it, but it is what they're making. Looks like I'm gonna be able to do five pretty comfortable. So maybe make a few extra. We got it again. All right, so we're gonna turn on the heat. I'm gonna do the medium because I just don't know what the level of it yet. I'm gonna put this over here. And then I'm gonna start my Eggs, let me wash my hands first. Okay, yeah, I need to wash my hands. <laughs> okay, now we are taking four eggs. Ooh. I usually do um, four egg whites and three yolks, so a total, well, I might do four yolks. And, no, I usually do five egg whites and three yolks. So it's a total of eight eggs. Seems to be the perfect amount. Is that your compost ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're not gonna see that I'm separating these eggs. <laughs> okay. And we put them in the compost so they do not go to waste. Yeah. We go through like at least a dozen, maybe two dozen eggs a week, kind of depending on how often I make breakfast. But yeah, I just separate the eggs like this. I know there's like an egg separator someone told me about, but I don't know, I don't think it's really that hard and I'm pretty lazy, so I'm just like, you know, I can just, there's definitely eggshells in here. <laughs> That'll happen. And they're so freaking hard to get out. Ooh. Got one. And then got two. Ding. It's so weird. Egg yolk is, or egg batter, I guess, is such a weird. Whew. It's almost like jelly. Oh my god, that's so weird. It's like blubber. It's like so hard to like catch. All right. And I always start with the egg yolk first because sometimes a yolk will slip and then that becomes obviously the yolk. But if they don't slip, then I put the yolks at the end, which I always have one that slips away. So then always in a hurry to eat because breakfast is like my favorite thing to cook. I know it's like a simple breakfast, but we usually plan out our, <laughs> see this one, that's just, that's just a lost cause. I couldn't save it. So I said, okay. But yeah, we usually plan out our meals for the day, especially if you have like, I have a binge eating disorder. So um, I gotta really know what I'm eating. Otherwise if I think, oh, I'm waiting till dinner or whatever, I have to know what time dinner is. Like it's very calculated, which is, you know, kind of annoying, but that's how you deal with and cope with eating disorders. You gotta plan it out sometimes. You gotta make sure you, you have a schedule one to eat. And ooh, that bacon's already sizzling. So excited about it. I hope it works. I hope it tastes good. I wonder if I should put foil over it like I normally do. Mm -hmm. I should put foil over the bacon. Okay. Do you think it, I don't know if it needs it though, because it's probably not as much grease splattering because it's a griddle. Yeah, it depends on the temperature. I put it medium unless you want to switch it down. I think it's good to cook it on high or on a medium, I mean. It seems to be a good temperature. Oh, right now. these little eggshells. Usually, so, like this one. Um, 
Hmm? Maybe with a spoon or... They're so hard to get out. I don't know, they're so little. Sounds impossible. They sleep. With the, with the half eggshell, it's the easiest to pick them up. Oh. Them kind of... I'm kind of sliding them up on the... They're usually not this little either. They're so tiny. All right, I think I got it. Can I just them. calcium? We can eat it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little eggshell in her. It's good for your bones. I mean, if it's good for the compost. Exactly. What's good for the geese is good for the gander. I don't really know what that saying means, but I've heard it, and so I believe it. Okay, these 18 plus eggs are really where they're at. I didn't even keep track how much I put in. There's an eggshell right there. Make sure there's no shell that one in there. <laughs> Do one more egg white and an egg yolk. Oh no, it's a shell. Damn, I swear it's really when I'm filming this clutchy. Oh, sorry, babe. Oh my god, I totally forgot. I'm sorry. I didn't see the little compost machine there. I just saw a trash bag. I'm sorry. What do you think the benefits are of the egg in the environment for real? You mean the shells? Mm -hmm. It just uh, like calc like all those elements go into the dirt and they become food for plants. Because you're really passionate about putting so, the eggs in the compost. Just like your body uses calcium to build bones. Yeah. Like a tree will use calcium to build branches. You know, it's like because mm. the soil itself depletes itself from nutrition. So we put back the nutrition into the soil. I'm glad we're putting nutrients into the earth. Honestly, I don't do much good for this world, but hey, if composting helps, does it help or not really? It just helps us. <laughs> it does help. The earth? Yeah. All right, last shell. Man. This has been a struggle today, you guys. <laughs> you know what, it's such a baby shell. It's pushed really hard against it. It's like the opposite. That's so weird. Oh, it pushes up. Like, it's honestly such a baby shell. Like, it's like not even anything. I feel like it's gonna be okay. Uh, you want the shell? <laughs> oh, to eat or to get? To eat. Oh, okay. Well, I don't mind a little shell action either. It'll be a fun game on who gets the shell. It's so freaking tiny. Like, I just. How is that little? I guess because it's the little just falls in. I don't understand. That's so annoying. All right, so here is the bacon. Let's see how they're cooking. I think they need to be higher. I don't think these are cooking at all. This new griddle actually cooks them so nice. I am so impressed. Very easy, not as much grease. Love it. Okay. Oh, all right, I think those are done. It cooked them pretty fast. I'm pretty impressed by them. It's definitely not as much grease, which is, um, like, it's not that I care about the grease for health reasons or anything, but it's just, it's nice because it doesn't, like, splatter everywhere, which is pretty cool. They definitely are still crackling and pop. These are nice. And the bacon doesn't have to bend. That one could use a little bit more. I'm really impressed. I've got a little bit more bacon on it just to try a couple more pieces. All right, let's just put them on here. Oh, wow. They look, they look, right? Yeah. They look so different than, like, mm -hmm. other they things. Cook more evenly, For sure. Yeah. They're really nice. All right. I'm going to take this one off. Put one more strip on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one cooks. Really nice, I love it. And then put the on it. Mm -hmm. Now the bacon is cooking, I'm going to salt the eggs. Yeah. That 
one better that way for sure. I think the bacon's gonna get done faster, but this is the perfect amount of food. It feels good all day. I never snack, I never get hungry, although we did. Oh, uh, we did have really bomb chicken nuggets yesterday. They were very sweet chicken batter. Okay. Yeah, this bacon, this gravel. Totally worth it. It's so much easier. They cook evenly. Eggs. Breakfast on a Sunday. These are doing. Them a little warm. Yeah, these cook so much better on that too. Salt and pepper and eggs. Like most people cook breakfast, skip breakfast, have cereal, have protein bar, do big breakfast. Did you guys have big breakfast for me? In Israel, we have like the continental breakfast type thing. Wait, at your house? In Israel? Yeah, in general. No, but like growing up, I mean, did you guys have big breakfast or were you like cereal, donuts, bars? Like especially on the weekends, we would have a big breakfast. Like what? So that's what I'm saying, like continental. So it's kind of like... What does that mean though? There'll be like cheese on the table, vegetables, egg. At your house? Potato salad. All of it fresh made in the morning. Really? Yeah. Or, um, your mom would make it? Yeah. Wow. Or like, you know, the pastry, like Borekas, it's kind of a pastry that we'll just throw in the oven. But yeah, it'd be like a really wow. big breakfast. And then a late lunch. Would you eat three meals a day over there? Yeah, pretty much. That's good though. Very structured, like the. But breakfast could be even just a sandwich with some cheese and. We always have breakfast. Yeah. That's what's missing here is usually like in America we don't have a lot of pastries. Right. They're more like savory for breakfast, lunch type thing. What's savory? It means that the, it's salty and not sweet. Um, like if you eat a, you eat a savory pastry? So it's not, it's not a dessert, it's just it's more of a... Like what? What's like a salty pastry? Uh, like burrata's for us, you know, like, you know, the filo dough with yeah. maybe cheese inside or maybe potato. It's just not sweet. It's... All right. I can't say when they're yellow or too well done, so. It's perfect. That's pretty good. All right. I usually try and eyeball half and half. I go back and forth and I go, okay, it looks like a lot. One for me, one for you. Right, and I'm like, okay, one more in here. Mm. So weird, like sometimes it looks like we have so much eggs and sometimes we have little, like this is a good amount today, but sometimes it's like. Well, it gets okay. fluffy sometimes, like maybe they get more volume. Yeah. All right, now we soak this, wow. Which one? The, the big bowl in there. We made corn, we made oh. steak. That 
ASMR TikTok breakfast. <laughs> well, hello there, buddy. It's a good sound to wake up to. Oh, I used to love the smell of bacon in the morning. That looks like it's almost done. I love to play ST. I want to get like two today and bring them home and put it in the fridge. So what kind of a tea was it? This is unsweetened iced tea. But you probably like a sweet tea. Yeah, I like sweet tea. I like it unsweetened because it's kind of like water. So it's black tea? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I love. Alright, so we're going to place this bacon. I like a chef. There is a show on Food Network called Trisha's Kitchen. Oh, like a, there's, a, there's another Trisha? Trisha Yearwood. She's married to Garth Brooks. She used to be a country singer. She cooks good. Oh, sorry, baby. Are you swashy? No. Oh, it's creamy though. Really? That's hot. That's hot. Oil. Yeah, but this one, it seems like the top ones cook faster. Yeah, it's weird. I guess, I think it's our flame too. I think our flame is like more over there. I'm gonna just keep shifting them over, I guess. See that one cooks now. I can't wait to try them. This, they look... They look better, huh? It's so different, yeah. It's really different the way they cook. Because usually the white part is not as cooked. Right. Alright, let's see. And that looks like less of a cleanup. Usually it's like birds and stuff in there. Yeah. So, Alright, I'm going to plate these. <gasps> Ooh, all our home cooked stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. Oh, where are they? Oh, I was gonna bring them. <laughs> I was gonna bring you. Can you come there? Thank you. Oh, um, thank you. Oh, sorry. I'm like. Do you want this one? This one looks more. No, I want this. Are you sure? Okay, come sit closer to me. Oh, we're having a breakfast. This is our usual. We usually are. After swimming. We're yeah, hungry. hungry. And I usually I'm way faster. If you guys were at our live last night or whenever this is up, I'm very faster than Moses when I eat. I devour my food. And when I people watch. I eat less. I know. Well, that's how you are. Like when you first meet someone, too, like on a date. And also, I have to have a, a bite of bacon with each bite of egg. <laughs> so you just want to put in my mouth. <laughs> but do you like it? Did you like it? I've been enjoying that. Wow. And it's like a sandwich. Like the perfect chewy and crispy. Yeah, this bacon. Mm hmm. It's so good. Yeah, I'm so happy we got that just today. Mm hmm. Wow. Bacon's like my favorite thing. I love it. Did you guys have bacon growing up or no? It's not kosher. That's so crazy. Because it's pig? Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. That's so weird. What's what's this what's the reason? I think for us breakfast has more cheese, vegetables, eggs. 
pastries. I don't think we, we hardly ever have meat in breakfast. Oh, because we can't mix it with dairy. But why can't you have bacon? Like, why, why like, can you have chicken but not bacon? I think because pigs used to, like, eat their own... Mm. Oh, because that's how it is with their, seafood, too, right? So, so they just... Well, maybe, you know, I think back then it was all the laws are about health. It's kind of like lifestyle. So I think some animals back then used to have parasites because they were not clean and not kept clean. Mm -hmm. So they used to stay away from certain animals that will give you a certain disease. But since then, you know, we evolved and learned like how to grow them and not have those parasites and so you think it's keep okay? them cleaner. <laughs> well, I, could, I wish I could keep kosher. <laughs> Is it more religious beliefs or health beliefs? Or just culture? I mean, it's both, but now I think it's more of religious. Because mm -hmm. now you can keep, think things are cleaner now than, you know, 6,000 years ago. Yeah. People bathe every day, animals are cleaner, there's more medicine. I mean, if anything, our animals <laughs> have too much medicine in them nowadays. You know what I mean? Too much antibiotics, too much. That's, that's oh, more of a problem today. Mm. So good. That's so crispy. It makes sense though. Like that pan was too small. It wasn't cooking all the way through. Like you could just tell when you're cooking it. It's almost like the way it starts. Like if it's flat on it. Then kind of mm -hmm. everything gets cooked, and then it kind of shrinks. Yeah, slowly. it did kind of shrink a little because they were so long. <laughs> it shrinks a but lot. this is so this bacon is really so good. Yeah, I love this kind of bacon. It's like the bacon you get like um, hotels or like when you go out to eat. This is better over there. It's drier. Mhm. Mm I think I cook breakfast the best. Like when I have breakfast out, I'm like, mmm. The only thing I get is like a waffle or something. Although. I just wish you guys tried today. I want to get those mini waffle makers. They have pumpkin waffle makers to make mini pumpkin waffles. And I want to get more glitter babies. Do you have waffle mix? Eh? Do we have mix? Mm -mm. Well, actually, yeah. Mm. Actually, I have no idea. I have to look it up. I have right, no it's idea. It's probably the same mix, pancake and waffle. Maybe just different ingredients. I've never made the mix, but I just... I should look up waffle mix. Yeah. We swam 100 laps. 50 laps today. Which we found back and forth as one. I want to see what we did We didn't last night. We didn't... We did work out at, at 10 o'clock. Which is crazy, but... Mm. Yum. It's so funny, we like the opposite pieces. I was going for this one. Because I know what this one you're going for. You did not know. Did you know? Mm. How? Because it's crispier? Mm -hmm. I, I like rum. I like the chewy. I like this. It's like perfect. Okay, so today's goal is to go back to Home Goods. I want to get those Bray John cups, which I kind of want anyways. But like, they're kind of stupid, they're kind of basic. But then I was like, and then I went on TikTok and everyone had it. I bet they're going to be gone because they're kind of hidden in the Halloween thing. I bet they're going to be gone. And they said Mr. and Mrs., which I wanted to get anyways. Shit got me. So funny. I know. But see, it is, TikTok is so brainwashing because <laughs> I'm the same way. I'm like, now I need that. That's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> mm -hmm. And why? Why? Because honestly, I mean, why? As as Mr. and Mrs., we have pretty much everything. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Not right done. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta be in the TikTok crowd. We should bring Glitter Baby up today. Oh, um, they, they are up too. I think they are up in our room. I'll bring them up. Oh my god, I'm always so full. I know I eat a lot or I eat fast, but I get so full after. I'm like, mm. Whew. We got Target. This is fun. 
Is that target? Hmm? You like it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Probably like the same thing. Okay, I'm the same problem. Like in restaurants, the eggs are always too, I don't know, like so heavy, thick, oily, dry. They're like rubbery too. I never like them. These are like so fluffy and. Yeah. You're supposed to take that now. I really am. Well, I had my quota. I know how much each I count food. <laughs> um. Are you gonna post your TikTok today? Maybe I saw this. Um... Did you even film the bacon on the griddle? You were TikToking in the griddle, but then didn't even film the bacon on it. No, I was filming slow motion of the water on the. Just the way the water like doesn't stick to the span. <laughs> oh, I think we're doing like a griddle <laughs> TikTok. I was like, okay. <laughs> but then yesterday there was this guy. He was out in the garden, so probably. What is that? Oh, oh my God, that's like the one at my mom's yard. Is that the same thing? That's the one she put on her jacuzzi? Think so. Well, she'll love that. She'll be like, oh. He was so cool. And then like, I got closer and closer and suddenly like, looked at me. Mm. <laughs> he knew what's up. Oh, I see. I just need time in the garden. <laughs> it's so crazy though. That's beautiful. Is that a picture or a video? Like aliens. I just paused the video. Wow. They're like aliens. It's insane. Aliens. They have a triangle head. <laughs> perfect. You know what would be perfect not to go away from the grasshopper, but the Starbucks cup spiders. Spider Starbucks cups. Mm -hmm. Where should we find those? My mom said she went to the Vons, didn't find them. We were at Target, didn't see them. But maybe today. We can ask them. But they say like when a new drink comes, the cups come. Or... Yeah, it's like Tuesdays. I can't wait to get more glitter babies. I think you should get a new tank top. I love that you love that tank top, but you wear it all the time. No, I just picked it up. Well, it's more like I'm shirtless <laughs> usually. <laughs> oh yeah, that's I true. This is over there on the. So I picked it up. <laughs> I mean, I wear the same thing too, so no judgment. I'm not here for fashion advice for anyone. So. You have a style. Sure, but I don't expect anyone to follow it. <laughs> well, I hope they do when you wear a sad boy. Yes. That sad boy zip up was iconic. You wear that so much. I loved it. Soon, it's gonna be cold enough, cold again. To wear it. We got new zip ups coming. We got four new zip ups this year. October 1st launch and Black Friday launch, and I'm very excited about it. We're getting samples this week. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. So, anyway, all right. Well, thanks for having breakfast with us. Let's go on an adventure. A Target, Home Goods, Starbucks, Whole Foods, Rouse, Chick fil A. Yay! Exciting. We're going on a hike. <laughs> this is a fun day. Yesterday was so fun. I felt so yeah. alive going to Home Goods and Target, buying fall things. Like I feel, I feel out in the world. And it ended up with a live, which was really fun. That was really fun. Mm -hmm. The live was really fun. I do them on my main channel. Um, kind of. I'm gonna try and have a schedule. It's kind of hard for me to have a schedule, but I would love to try it. You know, days like Lambda, Monday, long as, Wednesdays. You as long as you announce it, mm -hmm. it's fine. I got moderators now, and they started their own Discord. My sister told me that they're all in their own Discord, so they're chatting to moderators. They're so great. Like, that live, the VIP, the top tier live, is so good because they're just, like, they watch out for everything. Like, after the live, there was, like, one troll in there that was, like, recording and sharing my unlisted link. They found that. They found the unlisted link. They found the unlisted videos. Um, and there was two more from that place that, like, came in to record or whatever and they gave me there so I blocked them so like they're on it because like honestly like if I'm being honest I really don't have the energy the time the strength to look at this stuff so like but if someone just says this name the same the same and that's what they did so shout out to it was Amy oh god there was not Mercedes, Mercedes. Uh, I think there's like a like demon slayer pimp or something or demon slayer pump do you remember it was like a really long dragon slayer maybe dragon slayer pump it and then there was fourth one. What was that? What were you saying? Fourth one. Another girl. Name. 
Because originally I was like, well, I don't know this person, but I will. Cause yeah, I we'll give it a try and then see. But the other ones I know, like Amy, I met in real life in San Francisco. She was literally the only person at that VIP. And it was kind of everything because, like, that VIP person got to, like, we got to do the stage. And, like, usually at each show there was, like, six or seven VIPs. And, like, that one there was only one, which is it's kind of cool. Like, it's kind of everything. Like, I that happened one time at Carrot Top. Like, there was only me, my mom, my sister, and one other person. And that was kind of, like, iconic, actually. When there's more people, like... I guess it's better for that performer and the entertainer because they're, you know, whatever. It just It's more people. They don't feel like such a buddy dud, but there's something cool about one-on-one. And so to me, it's worth it even if there's one person. Because you can see ahead of time who buys VIP. So, like, it could just be, like, canceling VIP. But, like, I don't know. I thought that was cool. Like, have one person, too. Honestly, I would do shows for one person. Actually, how many were in there last night? 55 or 60, I think, were in there. I would do. I would literally do live shows for 60 people. I wouldn't care. As long as the venue is smaller. I was, they were booking me at, like, right. 4,000 seat venues because the year before I sold out because I was friends with Dave and Jason and then like the year after like I wasn't friends with them so I sold half those tickets but they put me in double the size so it just looked the energy is like lower but if you're in a small venue that only holds like 50 people it's a it's a party and it's funner so I mean there's like a lot of people I know in New York that are very famous but they do small you know like it's a small club yeah. it's like a supper club and they do it regularly, like every week or something. My whole romance fun. did that. It, I was watching it. They did one at like literally like this like, I mean, it was like in the basement, which actually I played in a place called the basement in New Jersey. Maybe that's where they were playing. I don't know. It was literally a basement and they were literally in a basement and it was probably 50 people. And I was thinking like, oh, this is like early on in their career, but they were playing the Black Parade and I was like, that's their second album. So I was like, oh, they were already like selling out arenas and they were playing that, which I thought was really, yeah, I'd rather see someone at an intimate setting than, I mean, arenas are cool. I'll see what MCR arenas, but like if they were playing at a small place like the Mint, I'd be like, hell yeah. But just the live is just like this positive, as they said, it's kind of a safe space and it's nice to have people. The live show. Self protected. And yeah. Oh, it was great. And people are so sweet and supportive and like, whatever, we know we support you and whatever, you know. It just was nice. I really do enjoy it. And like, it's weird because like, I'll never be on YouTube because I do like doing my fast food tries. I like doing music on there. But, like, I've been uninspired for anything else. I love the church talks. Love my, my chemical imbalance. But I guess I like wedding styles. I mean, I guess I like it still. But I just, I'd rather do lives right now. It just feels like the place to be for me. And, like, you know, I'll always do them. But I just really like doing it right now. Maybe I'll only do, like, once a week. Because originally I was starting to do just, like, once a week. And then I was like, well, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It was, like, a Saturday night. And I was like, maybe I should go live tonight. It's been really fun. So, um, it's cool. It feels cool, and there is like a wall, <laughs> which is cool. Um, and then yeah, people can just I guess hate watch. It just get started, so it's gonna get better and develop. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. What's crazy to me though is like because someone shared that link, they shared the like link for members only. I'm like on like a site that really hates me, and I was just like, what's the point? Like, I get it. I get people like see my on YouTube or whatever, but like, was well, just another way to hurt you, so they feel like. Here, I'm giving you something for free that, you know what I mean? So it's like, they feel like they steal from you, so they hurt you. But, I mean, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, like, I'm not going to sit down and watch somebody I don't like. That's what I'm saying. Like, what are they getting out of it? Oh, look, guys, we, have, we can watch her live. I don't know. They're playing detective, you know, like, let's listen. Let's see what little thing, what little nugget of something we can take out of context or share with the world. To, to Like, I truly do get hate watching people, like, on YouTube. I totally but to have, like, a separate site, a separate forum, like, and then also, like, just being, like, ooh, we're, like, stealing the live. You know, like, I hate watch people. And if I see clips of their live, okay, but I've never, like, sought out to watch someone that I hated live. And I hate, I used to hate watch people. I definitely don't anymore. I think, I don't know, I, I'm just not into it anymore. But I would never, like, if I see a clip or whatever. when like, you okay. did that, it was more, like, for entertainment. Like, you really just watched it. Right, it, it was definitely funny. wasn't actively. It was, it was just funny, and it was interesting, and, you know, and. Because you watch them like, and you're like, It wasn't oh. malicious. It wasn't like, yeah. it didn't make you feel bad. It was just like, this is entertaining. Mm -hmm. But I, here, this video is so riled out. They're like, they have hatred that just spews out. It's so crazy. I'm like, focus on what you I think that's like the scariest part. Because I get, I get hate watching me. I get thinking I'm annoying or whatever. You can think I'm a liar. You can think all this stuff. I get it. But it's just like the absolute hatred. That's like the no end of harassment. Like it's spam. It's spam. It's literally spam of the it's same thing, bullying. same thing. Okay, that's too. But it's like same thing, same thing, same thing. And I'm just like, okay, like. It's just a lot. It's just a lot, but it's fine. And it's okay. It's fine. It's like, it really is. I know that's like part of the internet. And like, I'll continue to share my life, but there's just like certain parts where I'm like, I'm not going to share it anymore. 
I don't know, whatever. Anyways, for those of you who are there, seriously, thank you. Like, it does feel so good. And I talk to them off of there now, and it's really fun. And it's cool. It just reminds me that there's, like, people that are, like, excited about my shit. And they're always like, is there new products for Trish Skin? Is there, what's the new sad board? Do you have any preview? Like, people were excited about my shit. And I was like, that feels good. Because you, I really do think I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like, everyone needs They're more like the people we actually meet in real life. Yeah, which is also cool. Where were we yesterday? Was it Starbucks? There's a guy named Angel, and I remember his name because that's my friend, real life best friend's name. And he was so excited, and I was like, oh, like it made me so excited. He's like, I'm like freaking out right now. And I'm like, oh, like, it makes me excited. I guess I maybe took that for granted. I don't ever took it for granted, but I guess you know, you're just like, okay, whatever. But now I like really feel it so much in my heart and soul, and I'm like, oh, that feels so good. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, go? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go say hi to Angel. Hey. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>